Hello there, my budding geniuses, and welcome to a math-tastic Tuesday. It's a fantastic day, isn't it? We are going to practice less than with our hundreds chart. We are going to use our word bank to match vocabulary to name the number. And then down at the bottom, we are gonna skip count forward starting with 624. So we're gonna skip count by tens, and we are also gonna skip count by hundreds. All right, let's get started. So as I've stated many times before, I'm gonna show us how to use the hundreds chart, but if you don't need the hundreds chart, you can also do this mentally. Remember, we're just trying to practice how to manipulate numbers. So 10 less than 78. 10 less than 78. So here I'm gonna highlight 78 on the 100 chart. 10 less means I am just going up one. If I look at the tens place, I would go from 70 to 60. And my ones place stays the same. 10 less than 78 is 68. Now I wanna do 20 less than 67. So I'm gonna highlight 67 right here. I know 10 less would be going up one. So 20 less, 10 and 20. I would end up at 47. Now, some of us who mentally know that, we just took that 60 and subtracted 20. 60 minus 20 is 40. Notice my ones place stays the same. I'm only working with the tens. And then here, I have 30 less than, I'm sorry, this should be 32. 30 less than 32. Some of you who had the book, you were probably like, what's going on? I have to log in and find out what's happening here. 32. And if you do 30 less, so I have 10, 20, 30. I would end up with just the number two. 30 less than 32 is just two. So that's a little typo. As we move down, this is different from the other ones that we've done because we have the word 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 7, 9, 2, and 3. We're going to have to combine these numbers to get these three and two digit numbers. So for example, I have 326. So I see three is here. Three. And then I have the word hundred. And then 20. 20 is right here. And can you see where the six is? The six is actually embedded in the word 60. So I'm just gonna take the six part out. So see how that's a little different from last week? We have to use all these different words to help us spell this out. Let's try the next one, 249. Here's two. Hundred. 
100. I have that from up top. 40 is here. 9. The reason why this is so important as a rising second grader or a rising third grader is because you're going to see numbers spelled through the rest of your academic career and you have to know what those numbers are. 79. Here I have 7. Hmm. What do I have to put on the end to make it 70? Probably was here for 40 and 50 and 60 and 20. So I'm going to put 7T. See that TY? And then I have 9. I'm going to hold it down here. And next I have 63. So 63 is right there for me. Here I had 326 and I'm ending with 362. So 3 hundred sixty and two is right there very good job this is a very important skill to have by the end of second grade you should know all of this know how to match word form to the standard form. So now we are going to start skip counting forward starting with 624. So here I'm going to count by tens. So what place is changing? Is it the hundreds place? Nope. Is it the ones place? Nope. It is just the tens place. So 600 is going to stay the same and 4 is going to stay the same. So I'm going to go forward. Notice this word forward. That means I'm going up. I'm going forward. So 20 after 20 comes. And if you don't know, you can always use your place value chart up here. I mean, your uh, hundreds chart. So 20, if I'm counting by 10, the next 10 would be 30. So here, let's put 30, 634. So this would be 644. 654. And last one is 600. 64. So I put a comma and space here because you really could go on and on and on and on. What's changing each time? Just the tens, please. Because I'm counting by tens. Now I'm going to count by hundreds. So what place is going to change this time? You got it. It's the hundreds, place. So I have 624. 20 and 4 is going to stay the same. 724. I knew 700 because I'm counting forward. 824. 924. Are you ready for it? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 1,024. The pattern stays the same. 600s, 700s, 800s, 
nine hundreds, and ten hundreds is actually a thousand. So you have one thousand twenty-four. I'm gonna put a little star beside this because those of you who are going to third grade next year, you are going to see more with the thousands place. Those of us who are going to second grade next year, you're going to stop right at a thousand when you're working with numbers. So it's pretty good that you were able to see this today. Very good job working. Make sure you keep up with the lessons. Tomorrow is a Wacky Math Wednesday and you get to make a cool picture tomorrow. Can't wait to hear about what you drew. See you tomorrow. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me, I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.